Hi, and welcome to Coffee Talk, the show where we tackle messy life with simple truth. My name is Teresa McKelvey, and I have a cold, so I apologize. <laughs> My name is Andy Kinman, so go ahead and grab your favorite drink and join us today as well as we talk about the Book of Ruth and a lot of other stuff. I get to go meet a fan of yours. Oh, okay. Uh, Miss Vonna Elkins, she wrote this book on Ruth. Yeah, my only fan. I'm jealous. <laughs> no, I'm sure you have many. <laughs> but uh, she did mention, I haven't met her in person, yeah. but um, I've talked with her several times. And uh, she's going to do an interview with me on this book. Right. And <clears throat> but anyway, it got me thinking about the story of Ruth. So she's doing some... So she's done a lot of research on Ruth. Yes, yeah. I mean, to, to write a book, yeah, I would yeah. think that she's done a lot. She also does, um, I guess she has a presentation that she does when she goes to um, talk with people mm -hmm. about the book. And she says she dresses like maybe how Ruth would have dressed and sings a song from then. So, I mean, some serious oh, wow. research, you know, so into that in time. It. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You know, my I think my favorite theme is probably one of the first ones that comes in into your in everybody's minds probably mm -hmm. is just you know how she's redeemed you know, yeah how yeah Boaz and all that so um but also like the the thought of and I had preached this like a long time ago that's why I was trying to remember um what it was but you know I had referenced her about her path Mm -hmm. you know, to getting where she was, you know, and uh, how that correlates to our life is that, you know, the, the, the road to greatness, it, it may not be straight and easy. Right. It yeah. may be winding and, and, and tough, you know, yeah. because for her to get to where she was, I mean, she went through some stuff. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of the blog post that you wrote about yeah. sometimes God leaves mm -hmm. us out in the fields, in you the know, fields, yeah. and I'm sure there was times when Ruth was out in that field thinking God had left her or was she, you know, was she alone yeah. or what was going to happen next? Right. So that, that reminds me of that. Yeah. That, you know, we, um, I think we all kind of feel that way <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, definitely. you know, and, uh, it, it's, and it is a funny thing you brought that, that blog post up you know because I have you know I felt that way a, yeah. a lot of times you right. know I guess I felt like Ruth must have felt or, yeah well it's like you know you're on the path but it's really not going anywhere it doesn't you know? seem like you're getting yeah. anywhere yeah and yeah. I and I thought that that when you wrote that post um which we'll put a link to it yeah. if anyone wants to go read it um but I thought that uh post was is encouraging because mm -hmm. in that time to keep going forward, yeah. you know, to, to know that because we can look at Ruth's story and mm -hmm. it, though it does have, you know, a good ending, a happy ending, um, I'm sure there were days where she didn't know what was coming next. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, absolutely had to have some trust yeah. there. You ever have days <clears throat> like that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would probably say the same thing. Yeah. You know, there, there's there's a lot of days when. Uh, gosh, I can even look at my life, you know, as, um, and, and this is, I actually referenced this in my sermon uh, Sunday um, of how, you know, there was a point in my life when I knew where God was leading me, mm -hmm. um, and He had laid out a path to get somewhere. I didn't know where right. it was, Yeah, you know, and uh, it, it took, you know, several years you know, for that to come to fruition, but you know, I'm, I felt like, you know, Ruth must have felt in the middle of yeah. that. It's like, uh, you know, God, I'm hanging in there. I'm doing my thing. Is this ever gonna? Right. Is this ever gonna? Um, 
work the way that exactly or, or if I totally missed the call exactly <laughs> yeah 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 I think another takeaway from the story of Ruth is about relationships mm -hmm. because you know especially because I'm a woman and, you know the joke always has been about the mother-in-law you know and the and mother-in-law and yep. the daughter-in-law relationship but I mean obviously Naomi must have been some kind of wonderful mother-in-law and to not one but two daughter-in-laws say no i'll leave my family yeah. i'll leave everything to go with you she stuck her neck out there yeah yeah, yeah. i mean th that i mean there has to have been a relationship that had been built and formed which yeah. i feel like even if we don't know all of it is that somebody something that we can all because i'm a mother-in-law mm -hmm. i have a daughter-in-law and so a lot of times I think of that. I think, who I wonder what, what did Naomi do? Mm -hmm. Or how did she react with her daughter-in-law to form those, that, that relationship so yeah, much? Yeah, and I, I, you know, I think that's, uh, that's kind of way overblown. You, you know, think so? I think they're, not Naomi, I think just, yeah. you know, our, our relationship, mm -hmm. you know, with our in-laws. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. I think my mother-in-law would stick her neck out for me. Yeah, yeah, I love her to death, yeah, yeah. you know? And, uh, you know, I'm sure over the years that there's been some, some bad ones. Right. But, um, you know, I know that, uh, you know, my my mom right. would do that for my wife. Yeah. You know, and... Well, I, I, I agree. I mean, I have a good relationship yeah. with Jeff's mom yeah. and, um, and the previous uh, mother-in-law as well. So um, I, I understand that. But I think that women's relationships can get complicated. Well, yeah. And I think that it it's, can go... Um, <laughs> it, it just can't. We, well, women are complicated. I'm not we going are. there. I'm yeah. not going there. <laughs> well, you can go there. I'm not going well, there. Well, women, we are. We are complicated. I will agree with you. Yeah. Whatever you smart, say. Okay, you and Jeff are smart Whatever and wise men. you say. Men. I see, I see the smart yep. and wise men, yes. Yes. But that, I think that the overall story <laughs> of women, you know, yeah, yeah. Of loving each other yeah. that much yeah. is, is pretty yeah, remarkable. The, right. The, the, that, that theme <clears throat> yes. is very strong just yes. to show that connection that, you know, that they had and just to see the links that she would go through for her is, it's good. I need to read that book. Because it's so good. It is. I, I don't want to tell too much about it, you know, because I'm going to yeah. do the interview. But it is so good. This horizon, it's shining. Seems the daylight knows. This is our time now Where we're going These dreams we're holding I feel like God had to plant some love, some, some, some sense of responsibility mm -hmm. for them in Him. I don't think He just said, oh yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, He didn't yeah. have to do that. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. yeah but, I mean, He took care of her even when she was in the field yeah. and said, you know, don't anyone else harm her, let her stay. Even throw a little extra yeah, for her. Yeah, put a little extra out yeah. there for her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's always been my thing is He didn't have to do that. Mm -mm. And uh, so you nailed it because that was what I was going to say about that is, you know, God had, you know, had had I think placed that in him, right? You know, and and he was, he was, put in a God ordained position at a God God ordained time, right? For a God ordained purpose, because had he not done that, we don't have that story. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. God put him there to do that in know? a field. In a field where he might have thought barley field. I'm just out here in a field, yeah. just the same. Or she's in a field going, I'm just being obedient. I'm just here doing my thing. Yeah, just doing my thing. Please yeah. don't forget about me. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, we could just talk about this. And just being found, obedient. Yeah. Fine. And then, yeah. <laughs> Finding love. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, another thing that I think I uh, take away. Obviously, this is a I love the story. You have studied it a lot, yeah, I have. a lot more than I, I have. have. Yeah. I shared with you one time that God had given me a, 
a thought that kind of shook me, you know, when I had told you oh, that, yeah, yeah. that I had found out. Now, this I don't know if this is biblical, but I had read um, in some Jewish um, commentaries, yeah. and some Jewish commentaries that Boaz died after the wedding. And I told you, I was like devastated, you know, because just like you said, you know, they're happily ever after, God, they have found love. And I went around for a few days really upset about this because I thought, poor Ruth, you know, she had her her happily ever after and it went away. And um, that finally God said to me, did you ever think that I was her happily ever after? Mm -hmm. And that when she came into relationship with me, her life changed and was going to always change. And I, my relationship, her, I wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. You know, Boaz died and people die, but our mm-hmm. relationship with God, you know, he isn't going anywhere. He's yeah. with us. Yeah. So Boaz was the conduit to get her to where yeah. she needed to be. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 a powerful story, and I don't know that it's true yeah. that he died. Or you know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. And, you know, at the end of the book of Ruth, as we know it, she had a baby and. You know, Naomi bouncing him on her knee. You That's know, it, so, yeah. yeah. Happily so, ever after. Exactly. But on the surface, I think it seems like a not trivial, but simple story. Mm-hmm. But it's really so deep, I think. Yeah. I think there's a lot of deep layers into it. Right. Yeah. That's like I said about, um, about her. You know, I have read it a few times. I even yeah. preached from it, but yeah. I've never dug real deep into it. Yeah. You know, enough to really. Um, to know right. that there was a possibility that Boaz died after the wedding. I know, and it you still know, makes me sad to think about. Yeah, I hope it's not true, I know. but you know. It's, but um, yeah, it's intriguing. Kind of makes me want to do a little more studying. Yeah, you know, does. in that Is book, it, yeah. you know, just to find out. And the Bible is interesting that way, you it know. Is. And and that's why I wish people would really uh, get into reading their Bible more and to do more than just. Um, to do some research, yeah. you know, and study deeper than uh, just words on a page. Exactly. But, but look, you know, at context and the historical meaning of things because when you do that, the stories come alive Yes. in yes. ways that you couldn't imagine when you see, you know, why, you know, why did he have to put extra in the field? Right, right? exactly. Well, because... The the homeless or whatever you want to call them, mm. the vagabonds. Right. They could eat the scraps. Exactly. They were they were welcome to the scraps, you know. Yes. And and most people, they wouldn't know that, but it's right. kind of it, it brings a new aspect to the story if you know little stuff like that. But yeah. I think that's cool. I do too. I th- I think that um, there's so many different. Oh, the people discount the Old Testament, but the Old Testament is still oh, so gosh. relatable to our lives today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was um, I was reading Ecclesiastes. Mm-hmm. Gosh, so depressing. <laughs> but um, I yeah. mean, it's so um, true to life. Yeah. You know, uh, all of the stuff that Solomon wrote after his uh, life of wisdom, and then parading around mm-hmm. away from God, and then kind of in the end coming back and saying, you know, all of this. It's all for nothing, you know. But yeah, yeah, I've been reading all of that, and uh, it's so good, you know. And all the psalms, of course, but the stories, the historical yeah. stuff, you know. Yeah. If you go in there and read that from First and Second Kings to, you know, the Chronicles and even Samuel, all right. of this stuff. I mean, it's so good. So it's good stories in there, and of course, Ruth, her story, and. Um, I think more people should really get into that stuff. I agree. You know, Jeff and I were having a conversation, and I always say he's like David, and he has a heart like David. And the other day, he's like, it's so funny because he was using my my tactic. He says, like, I think I'm more like Jonah. <laughs> and so, but once you, the characters become, you know, they are more the characters, but they become alive. And yeah. you, once you read enough of the mm-hmm. Bible, you can start applying it to yourself and start seeing, well, maybe I am being a little, you know, apathetic in this in this situation, yeah. a little bit like Jonah and don't really want to go and help nobody or do mm-hmm. anything, you know. I mean, you, you start... Um, you start to have a better understanding, and I think it helps your relationship with God, because then you can see, well, how did God react to that person yeah. in that in that um, situation? I have time? found 
I found that I am way too often like pre-Pentecost Peter. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is not always a good thing. No, yeah, but... But I'm trying to be a post-Pentecost Peter. Which and was Paul. more grounded and... Yeah, 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 and Paul. I want to be that guy. But yeah. Gosh, far too often. And see, people are going to like, what do you mean by that? I mean, go read your Bible and you'll yeah, see. Exactly, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to open up your Bible and read about Ruth. And, exactly. Uh, and, and read about pre-Pentecost Peter and Paul. Uh, yeah. You know, do that. And uh, But yeah, that's who I find I, I'm, I'm more, I'm most like, and I know that because I took a Facebook quiz. Oh, well, you know, that must be correct then. <laughs> I mean, goodness. Yeah, I've not seen but that But it is one. true though. I was like, wow, that is so true about me. You know, which Bible character are you? Well, Facebook knows you better than anybody else. Absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, if it was going to be somebody yeah. to tell you, yeah. no. not your wife, not, not Facebook, Facebook, it knows yeah. you better. Right. Well, we hope that you have found today's conversation at least fun. I know we had fun doing it. So, uh, comment below or look us up on Twitter, Facebook, or even Instagram and give us some ideas of topics that you would like for us to talk about um, or tackle on the show. Thanks for joining us today, and if you like what we're doing, then give us a thumbs up. Make sure and subscribe to the channel, free subscription, just so you don't miss any episodes. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. Well, that says I'm kind of like a donkey. Oh, no. What does that mean? Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Not Balaam. <laughs> the kind Not old Balaam Shrek. And his the kind old Shrek. It breaks out in song all the time. That's all in all. <laughs> Can that be like the clip? Yeah, that that's gonna have to be.